Hi everyone and welcome to my snake room. Um, I'll just be kind of showing you about and just basically showing you where my snakes are and um, they're set up at the moment. Um, and I will also be showing you a few other little guys that I have as well that are not snake related, um, but they're just as important to me. So I shall just get on with the tour. So as you can see behind me, I have four four foot vivariums um, and they have got my corn snakes in. My corn snakes are all adult size now. As you can see, this other four foot tank behind me um, belongs to Estrella, my Mexican black king snake. And she is hidden today, so I have no idea where she is, but uh, well, she'll be in there somewhere. So um, I'll just have a look for her in a bit. So, so this is Cadassius' tank, um, he's got his water bowl, his wooden hides, um, he's got some sort of porcelain uh, type hides at the back there. Um, he's also got his table that he can sit on. And also this resin hide, uh, as you can see there's a fair bit of uh, foliage in there and there's some ropes and bits and bobs him to climb on so so yeah that's his uh, that's his little tank as you can see I've kind of made um, made a bit of an effort where autumn is concerned <laughs> here I am with Cadassius he's just busy roaming about the back of my head at the minute I think somewhere but yeah, this is him, this is his tail. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think he's around the back there somewhere. As you can see. Oh. <laughs> and there we go, that's Cadassius. He's a bit crazy. There we go, that's it. So he's, uh, I just found him in his log snoozing, but um, he seems to be all right. So um, I think he might be having a poop soon because I fed them on, when was it, Wednesday. So definitely due to poop soon. So yeah. <laughs> That is Cadassius for you. <laughs> I'll pop him away now, I think. <laughs> so this is Asclepian's, Asclepian's tank. And he's got the same stuff as Cadassius, as you can see in there. I'm not quite sure where the boys are hiding at the minute, but uh, I'll find them in a bit. I have a very squiggly Asclepian. <laughs> He's definitely my most active snake, I would say. But uh, yeah, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he was in his he was in his little logs as well. So um, I'll put him back there in a minute. But uh, yeah, I'm just showing off my little babies. <laughs> there we go. Right. Well, I shall put him back and uh, let him carry on sleeping. So this is Apollonia's tank. Yet again. We've got water bowl, wooden hides, and she's actually on her little basking table thingy. And um, she's got the porcelain log hides and a resin hide there. And there she is, my little Apollonia. You're probably thinking, have you got a mouse? No, I have no mouse for you, not today, my dear. But uh, yeah, they get fed every two weeks, as I've said before. So. Um, yeah, I'll be getting uh, little Apollonia out in a bit. Here I have Apollonia. See, so she was just having a bit of a 
tis about getting out of the tank for once. But yeah, she's normally quite chilled out with getting out of her tank and stuff, but uh, I think she got a bit of a surprise and was just like, ah, mummy, leave me alone. And then like, she was fine after that. Once I got her out, as I say, she's chilled right down now, but uh, normally she's fairly good at coming out, but uh, I must have just surprised her or something. So anyway, there we go. She's a good girl, really. <laughs> but yeah, just let her have a little wander about. See where she wants to go, if anywhere. So, <laughs> but yeah, so that is Apollonia. So this is Athene's tank. And it's pretty much the same deal as all the others. Um, wooden hides, basking table, resin hide and porcelain logs, and ropes and foliage. That red and uh, green foliage in there, that's uh, a new new one that I added a few days ago. But, um, yeah, no one else is out, it's just Apollonia at the minute, so I think um, Athena might be in her logs, but uh, as I say, I'll find her in a bit. Now I have Athena with me. She was all right at getting out of the tank, she wasn't too bad, so, um, but I found her in her logs, so, but yeah, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, definitely, definitely a squiggly bunch, but, um, they're all right. I mean, they're generally quite chilled. It's just because it's like in the day and they're normally sleeping. So as I say, with Apollonia, she was on her table. When I went to get her, she was like, ah. <laughs> but with Athene, she was just in her logs and she was happy for me to get her out. So there we go. Yeah, she looks really bright and colourful at the minute, so real pretty. Pretty girl. <laughs> yes, that's normally that normally seems to be the favourite place to go. <laughs> Down the boobs. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm going to have a little cuddle with uh, Athene and then I will attempt to get Australia out. <laughs> it's Australia's tank, so she's got a little coconut hide thing. There is a little kind of ladder under that, but... I couldn't really be bothered to hang it up because, well, the hooks kept falling, so I've just kind of left it like that. Um, she's got foliage, she's got a water bowl, she's got a wooden cottage thing there. Um, let's say a little sort of table there for her to lay on, and uh, she's got a resin hide. Um, they've all got lights, fairy lights in their tank, so it's kind of lit up more at night but um, the sun's just gone in so it's a bit darker oh yeah and she's got this little coconut hide as well so um, I'm not sure whether she's pooped there or not but I'll have a look anyway so yeah that's uh, Australia's tank so here I have Australia and, oh. <laughs> and she seems to be doing all right she's getting a lot bigger now Obviously, I got her nearly a year ago. I think it'll be a year ago next week. Um, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, she's a little cutie. She's always up at the window because she's always sort of wanting food and stuff.
<laughs> just milling about at the minute so she was on the heat mat and I thought oh is she gonna go for me but I thought well I'll just get around and see what happens and um, yeah <laughs> I can't I thought she was going to get my teeth then. <laughs> oh, there we go, don't fall off. Yeah, yeah again, favourite place to go. <laughs> oh, there we go, I don't want you falling off. only ever get her out for a couple of minutes at a time anyway so uh, she's still sort of getting used to me and she's quite feisty but well I say a couple of minutes I get her out for about five ten minutes and um, just let her sort of mooch around a bit and stuff but uh, yeah she's doing very good so I shall just put her back as well <laughs> there we go. So this is Umbra and as you can see he's having a little uh, look around just while I clean him out making him look all nice and presentable even though he's still got a bit of dirt on him. <laughs> <laughs> but yes I've had him since 2014 so he's six years old nearly six and a half um, my other one Domus as you know passed away so it is just Umbra now in this uh, in this little um, well it's kind of um, it's a propagator but yeah it's just him in there on his own now he's got all the lettuce and cucumber to himself and doesn't have to share but yeah, he's been very, very nosy. I'm just happy to sit in my hand, to be fair. So yeah, so that's uh, that's Umbra, and I'm going to get him some food and uh, settle him into his nice, clean home. As you can see, he's just venturing towards his lettuce and cucumber that I put in there. He's also got a bowl of water. And <clears throat> um, I've used the, um, oh, I think it's called cocoa fiber brick. Um, so that's kind of what the substrate and that is. But yeah, so hopefully you can chill down on that and enjoy his dinner. So these are my other little babies. Um, I actually have 97 of these little unicorn snails. Um, I can't remember the Latin name for them, but um, anyway, yeah, that's kind of what they're called, the unicorn snails. You can see them there on that little bit of cuttle bone. Keeps their uh, shells strong. And they've got cucumber and lettuce. So, yeah, there's a mixture of adult and babies in this little um, container that I've got them in. But yeah, so I cleaned them out a couple of days ago and they seem to be doing alright. And just milling about, enjoying life. So yeah, that's my little unicorn snails. And uh, as I say, I've got 97, but uh, where the rest of them are, because that's obviously not all of them there, but where the rest of them are, I'm not quite sure. I think they probably buried themselves or something. So, but yeah. As you can see behind me, that's where Umbra's little uh, house is, the, uh, the large tank bit there. And that behind me is um, where I keep my little unicorn snails. Um, so that's kind of, that's their little home and where they are. But, um, but yeah, they seem to be doing alright, doing good and enjoying their food. As you can see, 
the rest of my snake room is a bit of a mess. I've got like signed shirts up there, I've got Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, all sorts of bits and bobs up there. I've obviously got pictures of my snails, more signed photographs, I've got photo ops. But yeah, that's it really. That's um that's just kind of like a little tour of my um of my snake room. I call it my snake room, but obviously I have my snails in here and stuff, but um but yeah, so that's that's everything for now. Um, oh yes, I also have my altar there as well. So and some books and bits and bobs got all my bottles of water and stuff for my snakes and for myself. So um, yeah. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please pop them in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to answer them. But for now, it is goodbye and I will see you in my next video. Thanks again for watching.